Thanks for joining us tonight. Plans are underway to close a Minneapolis homeless encampment after a man was shot inside. Thursday's shooting happened near 5th Avenue South and 6th Street South in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood. When officers arrived, they found an unconscious man who'd been shot. He died at the hospital. Our Sammy Selena joins us now with more. The death highlights the ongoing debate on what to do with encampments. Community leaders say this site should have been shut down a while ago. What's the best way to help? If you need water, come get water. People living in an encampment. Eastgate Ministries is here. They heard about the shooting the day before where a man died. Uh, let these people know that we care about them. We love them. MnDOT was there too, doing routine trash pickup. The department says they will close this site. Outreach teams tell us this is one of the largest encampments in Minneapolis. It has been a topic of discussion before. In a statement, Minneapolis City Council member Jamal Osman, who represents this neighborhood, said he's been begging Governor Tim Walls to step in and for MnDOT to take action. Quote, my staff and I have been begging for action at this encampment for months. Osmond said MnDOT dragged its feet when it came to hearing community members' concerns. The department said they've been working with organizations to get help to the people living here and that the, quote, highway right-of-way is not a safe place for human beings to live. <laughs> Avivo's homeless outreach team say that with few housing options, it's a place for people to call home. It's good for community for the folks staying there, and it's a good centralized a place for service providers to come and offer resources as well. Hennepin County's outreach team says that people living in encampments can be very vulnerable to gun violence. In no way are they necessarily directly related to encampments. Um, and unfortunately, the folks that are occupying or living in these spaces are oftentimes susceptible to this violence and um, oftentimes become victims of these crimes um, and ancillary activities. MnDOT didn't say when they'll shut this down. How can we help you, bro? But people here will need to seek shelter or another place to live. You're worth it, brother. Sammy Solina. Give me a hug. <laughs> <I'll pass on. laughs> God bless you. All right. God bless you. Care 11 News. According to the latest information from police, they have yet to make arrests in the shooting.